I want to show you the PSOC Creator software. In this case, I've chosen a PWM from the component catalog over here on the right and placed it on the schematic. When I double click on it, it brings up the configuration window for the catalog item. And this is a nice way to graphically configure one of the modules within the system. Uh, this shows this is a graphical representation of how it's going to start up, uh, the name which you can change, and it has nice radio buttons whether it uses internal hardware or builds it out of building blocks. So 16-bit PWM versus 8. And then here's sort of the general uh, different types of configurations, whether you want center align, dual edge, etc. So if we switch it to center align, unfortunately I don't have a clock uh, set for the whole system, so we're getting an error here. But, you know, we can adjust the period, and you can see it's going to um, adjust graphically on the screen as well. And then the comparator point value, so if we change that to 20. So it's 20% uh, uh, comparator, it goes to 20, and then um, it's center aligned on that. If I change that to a different uh, dual output, it becomes, uh, uh, the first comparator value is now 20, which represents this one. And it, it just makes, makes, makes all the complexity pretty obvious when you can see a graphical representation. There's a link here. Uh, when you click this button, it opens up the page in the data sheet that pertains to this particular uh, hardware peripheral. On the Advanced tab, you can set things like how it should be enabled, hardware, software, or both, uh, run modes, all the more uh, detailed aspects of the PWM. Now, also, uh, whether it should generate an interrupt and how it should generate an interrupt. So this is a very nice, uh, very nice interface for setting up the PWM the way you want it. And then once you build the project, the uh, files actually show up in the workspace over here. And then you would edit the .h files that are associated with the PWM. Thanks.